Hello and welcome everyone and today we will be doing a story an interesting delightful story of uh, a person that is daddy how daddy decided what he wanted to be this is uh, english literature and why do we study literature you know a literature gives us a different perspective of life when we are able to see others way of thinking we are able to form beautiful sentences go into others mind to read how the society how the individual uh, writes and we get into the imagination now that is the beauty of literature it's very important to uh, study literature since it gives you a uh, a good thoughtful you know uh, you get the critical thinking about the society as a whole when someone reads or reads a piece of work he literally reads the mind of the other person okay so uh, let's see what is there in the next slide uh, and alexander ruskin he is the he is the russian writer who narrated the story about his daddy what his daddy wanted to be when he was a younger child younger uh, when he was in his young days so simply uh, we will move to the slides very quickly and try to complete it uh, within few minutes so everyone has their way of thinking they want to be something but children have a very short span of uh, you know uh, they have a fickle mind they do not uh, their concentration level is low let's move to the story quickly Uh, 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 what, uh, what is your father profession? This uh, it's a pre-reading task you have done already. I will be doing it very quickly. That uh, when daddy was little, he was often asked, what do you mean by often? Often means frequently that I have uh, written here. Frick, uh, uh, often asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Daddy always had an answer ready, but each time his answer was different. At first, Daddy wanted to be a night watchman. He liked to think that while the whole town was asleep, the nightman, uh, the night watchman was up, and he liked to think that he could make a noise when everyone was asleep. He was quite certain he wanted to be a night watchman he, when he grew up. But then the, then the ice cream man came along with his bright green cart. Why he could push a cart? Why he could push a cart? He could eat all the ice cream he wanted to. That's the uh, beauty of a child, the fickle mind of uh, a child, how he thinks that the thing keeps on popping in their mind that whatever interests them, they get attracted towards that. I'll eat a stick of ice cream for every one I sell. Ek ice cream bechega, ek ice cream khain. This is the thought daddy had. Business to ho gai. And I will treat little children to free ice cream. Little daddy parents were very surprised when they heard that their son wanted to be an ice cream man. It was quite funny for them. Can you tell me the tense of this sentence? We have just studied the tense. It was quite funny. Let's think over it. There are so many sentences that uh, you will be able to relate it with grammar also. And this literature will enhance, in uh, will uh, improve your writing skill as well as speaking skill as well as your, uh, the, you will tend to do less grammatical mistake. But he thought it would be thought past tense, regular verb or irregular verb, just think over it. It would be a very tasty way of growing up, being grown up. Then one day, little daddy saw a man at railway station. The man kept playing with the cars and locomotives. Locomotive, the meaning of locomotive is given here. But these were real cars and real locomotives. He had jump on the platform and crawl under the cars, playing a strange and wonderful game. That's the person was working and daddy was thinking it was fun. It was all fun for daddy. All work was fun until he has to stick to the work. Let's move to the next. Uh, who is that man? Daddy asked. 
is the shanter he was told now little delhi knew what he wanted to be just think he would shunt railway car what in the world could be more interesting not nothing obviously clearly when daddy said that he would be a shanter someone asked him but what about the ice cream seller what about the ice cream because he had decided to be a ice cream seller so he had the answer this was a problem daddy had decided to become a shanter but he did not want to give up the bright green ice cream cart at last he found a way but i'll be shanter and an ice cream man everyone was very surprised but little daddy explained it all quietly clearly it all quite clearly that's not hard at all i will sell ice cream in the morning after selling it for a while thodi der usko bech lunga fir thodi der locomotive station ke paas aa jaunga and bas ek bar kood ke ye kaam and then the other work then this work and that work and it will, he will manage everything i'll go to the station there i will shunt some car shunt means uh, to place it at a proper place and go back to sell some more ice cream then i'll go back to the station and shunt the cars again and then i'll sell some more ice cream it won't be hard because i will park my car near the station and i won't have far to go to the trains that's a good thought logical thinking because if you'll place the cart very far off then you won't be able to work with the locomotives everyone laughed again the little daddy got angry and said and said if you are going to laugh at me i will be a night watchman besides after all there's nothing to do at night means now he has got three profession at night he will be doing the night watchmanship then he will be playing with the locomotive and then he will be selling the ice cream all three works together everyone it was all settled but then daddy wanted to be a pilot hmm that was then he wanted to be an actor but after grandpa took him to a factory he decided to be a turner beside turner uh, the meaning of runner is written here who works with the uh, um, who works with a uh, 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 lathe is a, a tool which is used uh, to turn around turn karte rehna wo ek uh, chakki jo hota hai na us type se hota hai okay so beside he wanted to be a sailor or at, la- at least a shepherd shepherd means gherdia who um, take the sheep goats to the field and spend his days walking about with the cows cracking his whip loudly jo jo se whip mar mar ke he would he wanted to roam around and be a shepherd what's there in the next acha acha so out of so many professions he was changing every now and then he was changing a profession but now what he is about to think finally he decided that he really wanted to be a dog all that day he ran around on all fours barking at strangers he even tried to bite an elderly lady when she wanted to pat his head little daddy learned how to bark very well but he couldn't learn how to scratch behind his ears with his feet though he tried very hard he thought if he went outside and sat next to rover he would learn more quickly that and that's what exactly he did he sat with rover to learn his mannerism how he behaves how he barks how he scratch everything oh this is so funny he wanted to be a dog and next time he wanted to be a cow or whatever his mind was so fickle he was thinking continuously and he wanted to this and that now just then what happened now there's a, uh, there is a turning point then uh, just then an officer came walking down the street he stopped he stopped and looked at daddy he watched him for a while and then he asked what are you doing i want to be a dog little daddy said said don't you want to remain human i have been a human being for a long time 
Daddy said. What sort of a human being are you if you can't even be a dog? Is that what a human being is like? No, this was a question. Well, what is he like? Daddy asked. You think about it yourself. The officer said the officer and walked away. He didn't say, he didn't laugh at him. He didn't uh, find him funny. So this was the turning point. Now, let's see. He wasn't laughing and didn't even smile. But little daddy suddenly felt much ashamed of himself and he began to think. He thought and thought, thought and thought. Past tense of think is thought. That is irregular work. And the more he thought, the more ashamed he was of himself. The officer had not explained anything to him. But he suddenly understood that he couldn't change his mind every day. And what was most important, he realized that he was too small, realized means real uh, that he was too small to know what he wanted to be. The next time he was asked to ask the same question, he remembered the officer and said, I want to be a human being. No one laughed. The little daddy understood that this was the best answer of all. He still thinks so. First of all, you have to be a good human being. This is the most important for a pilot and a shepherd and an ice cream man. And after all, human being does not really have to know how to scratch behind his ear with his foot. So it was an interesting story that what daddy wanted to be when he was a small boy. So even all the children think like that when uh, they say they, they see things, they change their mind. They get carried away by the glitters, the outlook uh, of the profession. They do not see the other side like the mature people see. So this is the mind of a small child. Now the little daddy wanted to pursue various profession, complete the table below. Citing one reason for his choice of his profession, night watchman. Why, why did he want to be a night watchman? Because he wanted to remain awake the whole night. Ice cream man, because he wanted to have as many ice cream as, as he could and give ice cream to the little children to free of cost. Shunter, so that he can uh, be on the platform and play with the locomotive, play on the locomotives. Shepherd, so that he can roam around with the um, cows and sheep and whip them dog because he have uh, he has uh, become uh, he has been human being for the long time now he is he was fed up of being human being so he wanted to be a dog so that he can sit and bark at any stranger and walk on four and scratch his uh, ears with the his foot that was funny uh, this is what the question answer. This is complete question answer. Now see, uh, like uh, uh, I always tell when the question is in past tense, you have to answer in past tense. This, uh, this story, uh, daddy decided how daddy decided what, what he wanted to be is a story. So it is in past tense. So that we have written just like that. Please mind it because it is important that you have to keep the tense as it is in the question. Why did did past tense daddy want to be watchman daddy wanted so here want change to wanted to be night a night watchman so that he can remain awake whole out night and make noise while whole town was sleeping answer two what was daddy plea in favor of being ice cream seller how did his parents react to it daddy's plea in favor of ice cream seller was question c that he could eat as much ice cream as he could and would treat little children ice cream free of cost. His parents were obviously very much surprised of his funny choice of profession. Now question three, what efforts did past tense? Question is past tense. Daddy put, now see here, put. The all three uh, um, form of put is put, put, put. So there is not like that putted, put in, it's not like that, okay? So daddy put up all his effort to be a dog he practiced to walk on four barks at uh, uh, bark donut. It should be uh, barked at strangers. It should be barked. Okay. 
bark at stranger and even uh, he tried to scratch behind his ears with his foot also he sat with rover set pastens to adopt his mannerism now answer for why was daddy ashamed of himself after meeting the officer daddy was quite ashamed now she has see ha uh, pastens okay was quite ashamed of himself after meeting the officer because the officer did not did not laugh at his silly behavior instead he made him realize that daddy was doing all foolish uh doing all foolish act all foolish act it should be act okay i should have written this error uh which was not okay for a uh, for a uh for a sane person cut sane human being okay so finally what did daddy finally decide to be when he grew up daddy finally decided past tense to be a good human being when he grew up because it is the most important trait of any profession trait of this is of any profession okay so next slide and this is the uh, this part you could do it of your own he what a uh, uh, detective does uh, if you are a detective you will uh, if you are detective you will investigate if uh, you are uh, um, cricketer you will play cricket you uh, do it yourself and hots hots is high order thinking skill and this is what Uh, the question is the who why do little children keep changing their mind because uh, little children keep on changing their mind every now and then because of their changing fluctuating mood and mind hence are unable to stick to one decision for a longer duration they get carried away by the glitters outlook of the things situation they do not see a situation for from a wider perspective so on so on the next interesting think they change their uh, so comma so on the next interesting thing they see they change their mind quickly okay uh, you can write it of your own you can uh, form better sentences now uh, discuss a life skill what do you mean by life skill uh, this is about discuss and the life skill is about uh, uh, a skill set of skill that is required to lead a, a good life okay so discuss with your partner what is the right age to decide what you wish you grow up what are uh, when you grow up what are the advantages of making early decision yes of course if you decide early that what you want to be you start working towards it and uh, you will uh, be more focused and uh, reach the goal soon at the right time in fact right time Uh, uh, is it practically possible for even uh, des uh, even desired to practice two or three simultaneously? Means uh, if you can uh, do uh, more, you can pursue more than one profession at a time. What do you think? It is up to you. One can obviously there are people who are uh, pursuing more than one career, uh, more profession at a time, uh, doing. um something or the other thing just like uh, someone is singer while engineer banker while uh, uh, doing uh, uh, interest in painting so two profession can be taken up values so what is the trait so what are the good uh, traits for a good human being like honesty politeness good manner kind and generous helpful um, you know uh, these are the um, traits of good human being now let's see this is the writing skill you know writing skill is very important you have to keep on practicing writing in your notebook uh daily in fact in fact whatever you learn you read you make it a point to write it in the notebook to practice it okay so this is uh, uh, you can uh, take you can form your own language i have just given one uh, example this uh, why what is diary writing diary writing is a personal thing that uh, that is between uh, that uh, between me and my diary or one person and his thinking his personal views where he writes uh, in a, a diary okay 
so with discrete uh, entries arranged by date reporting on what has happened over the course of a day or the period kya change hota hai wo uh, it's very personal and language is uh, informal it's not that ki bahut uh, formal language it's a uh, personal thing so uh, it is one's feeling that uh, one writes in the diary so this is the simple example you can write it of your own